Flathead High School's multi-million dollar renovations are complete just in time for this new school year. KPAX's Marin Sue gets a look at all those upgrades. The old gym was built in the 1920s and so it was old. You know, if it could have been restored, uh, we probably would have considered that it was just so old and falling apart. Uh, it was a joke uh, from the construction firm when they begin to take that down, how easily the wall the walls just collapsed. Superintendent Mark Flateau says it's construction that was well overdue. But architect Max Greeby says this new space came with some challenges. Tying all the different uh, eras of the school together, uh, seeing as though the original part of the school was built in the 1913s and the early teens, uh, all the way through the 80s. So it was a challenge to tie all the different areas of the school together and make it all flow. Architects drew on the existing style of the 1960s building and were able to add small upgrades like these brand new lockers and brand new floor tiles. Flateau tells me integration was a success. So now you can go anywhere on the first floor and you walk into the new and out of the new seamlessly. Same thing on the second floor. Another issue, an older building, Greeby said, Flathead wasn't up to today's security standards. Reducing the number of entrances in and out of the school was a big priority. The $28 million bond passed in 2016 funds 18 new flexible learning spaces for students, which Flateau says accommodates an extra 100 students for the growing Flathead Valley. Being one of the last projects Flateau works on before his retirement, he reflects on his time at the district. I've been following Flathead High School for many, many years and coming to the Valley for over 40. And so um, it, it, we're, we're just so grateful and uh, again, so happy that uh, this uh, shining gem of a, of a new addition uh, is added to, to Flathead High School. Flateau says students are excited to start the new school year with the new renovations. In Kalispell, Martin Sioux, MTN News.